So here we are, day 13, and I am hanging out of my ass. Um, I wouldn't say it's because of the diet. It has everything to do with only having three hours sleep. So I am shattered. Normally, in the past, I have used this as the perfect excuse to go and stuff my face with food because I have 110% told myself I need it in order to function throughout the day. Well, I've made it to nearly nine o'clock now and I have stuck to plan 110%. I have had my water, I have had some cups of coffee, definitely needed because I was so tired. Um, this morning I had my normal chocolate shake with beanies, coffee, amaretto flavour, absolutely my favourite. Absolutely love that one. Um, lunchtime, strawberry and apple bar, dipped in my coffee. Mm -mm. Um, tea, nice bit of vegetable soup, nice and warm and couldn't be bothered to make a spaghetti. So that's why I went with a soup. And then in about 20 minutes, I will have my last shake, which is a little bit earlier for me because I normally wait until about 10, quarter past 10, uh, which I think is part of the reason that I am often wide awake. So I'm gonna have a nice hot choc mint shake for my last one. I love having a hot chocolate before bed. It just warms me up thing I am massively suffering with at the moment is I am so cold it is ridiculous and the problem with that is I have needed to have the electric blanket on on the bed but because it's an electric blanket that was originally for just a normal double and we've got a super king it means that part of my boyfriend's side has been getting rather hot and he doesn't like a hot bed so i'm there with my fleecy socks long sleeve tops pajama bottoms quite a thick duvet and electric blanket so because i literally cannot mo keep listening to him moan about that i've made the bed too hot with the electric blanket because i've turned it up too high and it doesn't help ours is one of the old school fleecy style ones I have gone out and purchased this little beauty. Yes, a proper super king size electric blanket with dual control. Meaning I can roast myself alive while his side stays nice and cool and he will not have to keep moaning at me for this. Um, I know that being cold is part of the hazard of this diet. Um, it can make your hands and feet very cold and I have definitely got that hazard. Um, as is sometimes the unable to sleep. Currently keep going through that hazard as well. But other than that, day 13, although unlucky for some people, has been pretty good. Um, I'm feeling good because I have stuck to plan and also because I've stepped right out of my comfort zone and started this vlog, which is not something that I would normally do because it absolutely terrifies me. There's that whole, oh, what if this person sees it? What if that person sees it? What if so-and-so sees it? What if someone from work sees it? What if some of my friends see it and then they take the piss? And there's just all of that that definitely goes through my head. Um, I think because you tend to be, or I know I am, a little bit, a little bit, a lot insecure. So if you don't put yourself out there, then you don't risk anybody saying anything. So uh, as the person doing the Life of Ollie blog said, fuck them. What is the worst they can do? Like literally, what is the worst they can do? They can take the piss, they can show this to other people which means more people get to see me so that's all good um and then i can be the one sat here smiling happy thinking fuck you 
because I'm the one that's done so much change my life and you're the one still sat there taking the piss out of other people. So, yeah, I am quite proud of myself for taking that step of doing my vlog. It is mainly for me, um, just because I really want something that I can just look back on how far I've come. That is the main thing. And so that when I am having a shit day or oh, I'm starting to feel a bit comfortable and better and I think oh I'll well, just 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 one bit of chicken or one bit of this won't matter I can look at this and think actually yeah it will because I'll soon be back where I was and that was the last place in the world I wanted to be um and I want to be able to live my life better I want to be able to enjoy things more not feel so tired and crap and always be about 10 miles behind all of my friends when we go out to, in the back of my head, constantly be thinking, oh, are there going to be any obstacles to me going? Am I going to be some hot, disgusting, sweaty mess wherever we're going? So there's all these things that sort of go through my head and I don't want to have to think about these things. When I go into a party, I want to be able to get some out of the cupboard and know it's going to fit and look nice and not be thinking, hmm, well, that'll do because it's the only thing that looks all right. I don't want things to just look all right. I want them to look really good. So this vlog will hopefully, I think, give me a kick up the ass when I'm thinking, meh, I've lost a couple of stone. I can slack off a bit now because actually, no, I can't because I've been slacking off for the last four years no three and a half years so slacking off done me no favors other than put the weight back on so I think the only thing I've had to slack off is the size of my trousers or the size of my tops um yeah so also I think I want to prove that it doesn't matter how many times you have restarted started restarted how many different diets you've done whatever it is or if you're like me the absolute 110 percent queen of excuses of why you didn't stick to it this week that you can do it i want to show that it doesn't matter what matters is that you never ever give up on yourself even when you really want to and i probably did a few times in the last three and a half years um things I might sort of talk about in a later vlog about what happened and why I royally came off of the plan after sticking to it rigidly for sort of 12 and a half weeks 13 weeks um but yeah it doesn't matter how many times you fuck up how many times people turn around and say oh why don't you just try Slimming World or Weight Watchers or Cabbage Soup Diet or any other diet that they think is better than a meal replacement one Cambridge because everybody's got an opinion on it well do you know what I know this one works and it's not the diet that's the issue with me so I'm going to prove that actually you can restart a million times and then finally succeed and get to go so I am hoping that this video day 13 Mr Unlucky will be one of those videos that gives me that kick up the ass when I really really need it um, so yeah, so hopefully we will be back again tomorrow and I will be able to report how amazing my new electric blanket was. Bye.